The school started by ICRESAT in 1981 uh, for the foreign children of the ICRESAT scientists and for many years our numbers were very small, uh, all, around 50 students. Um, and then around the turn of the century the, the, with the growth of businesses in Hyderabad I guess, the school started to grow slowly but steadily. And then in the last six years uh, it's grown from 260 students, which was the number when I first started, and we're now today at 434 and still in increasing. The school goes from uh, age 2 to 18, uh, from Kindergarten to grade eight, we do what's called Common Ground Collaborative. Uh, and then in grades nine and 10, we do IGCSE. And in the 11 and 12, we do the IB Diploma Program. Well, ISH has a fair, fairly powerful mission statement backed by some, uh, some guiding principles, which are fundamentally about students leaving here prepared for the outside world. They've got high aspirations and reach for the stars and follow their passions. ISH is nestled in the Ikrasat campus, uh, which is about 40 minutes, 50 minutes from uh, downtown Hyderabad. ISH has a great relationship with Ikrasat. Uh, they are our trustees, and so they uh, look after us and uh, protect us because we're in their grounds. And so our students use the campus depending on certain units that they're studying. And then the older students actually work sometimes with the scientists and the scientists also come in and talk to the students on any given unit that's going on in the school. Give you an example of input for our What is important is that what we start to develop in the elementary school is to um, begin embedding what are called highly transferable skills, whether they are around process or thinking skills, because these are the skills that you take outside of the classroom. Having the students at the centre of what we do is uh, crucial in terms of curriculum design, and that's mirrored in what we are trying to develop in our um, pedagogical practice. Uh, and what does that mean from a curriculum point of view? It's having what we call an authentic real-world based learning um, program. ISH is actually a really great school. I love it. it. It's just so open and like, you know, it's just a perfect environment. It allows for mistakes and self-growth and self-development. And I think this is a very important part in the educational process for kids. In grade two, you learn to read. And in grade three, you read to learn. I think ISH is better than the schools that I went to in the US actually. I think the teaching is really good. The school has gone out of its way to find good teachers who uh, take their time and have one-on-one -on -one interactions with the students because they're cl uh, smaller class sizes. I think, you know, I think the experience outside of the classroom is, is a really important part of our program at ISH at all levels. I think we've worked really hard to, to create a robust experience of, of uh, opportunity outside of the classroom for students. So we have a, a field trip program now for 6th grade, for 7th grade, for 8th grade, for ninth grade. Well, the uh, college counselling process is really important in the student's journey into high school. It gains momentum when the student joins grade 11. We have a series of meetings and orientation sessions, uh, not only with the students but also with the parents wherein we uh, give them information about the whole college application process. We talk about guidelines. We talk about, uh, you know, the timeline. We have a, a tight-knit community. We have a, a relatively small number of students that, uh, and we choose to keep the parents uh, in a pretty close partnership with us. We expect them to come to celebrate what their children have learned. Uh, but we also expect them to come and mingle and socialize. The best thing that I like about that is school, the kids get um, a really international experience um, and also um, they get the opportunity to work on their own and to work in teams. Both the kids love the school, they love their teachers, the style of teaching and uh, there's not a single day that goes by where my Kids come to me and say, I don't want to go to school. Uh, in one of our first meetings here in the school, right, Dr. Ollie, the principal had mentioned that 
We are preparing our kids for jobs that probably don't exist today and on technologies that don't even exist today. And uh, I think that really strikes a chord. Technology is integrated fully in the curriculum. Um, in grades 6 through 12, we're bring your own laptop. Um, and we're a Google Apps school. So all collaboration, all, almost every class has some sort of digital component um, at some level. We are diverse school. We have people, we have students from different backgrounds, different countries, different cultures. So music is the only way to me to help them to build that kind of atmosphere. See, our school has grown so much over the last two, three years. We almost doubled our size. So now we have uh, more music rooms, we have practice rooms, we have new equipment, we have absolutely fantastic recording studio. So that gives us more and more opportunities. Uh, we have a broad spectrum of uh, after-school activities ranging from the, the arts, the performing arts, other uh, service learning initiatives, low-key recreational opportunities for all the kids, uh, something for everyone. Basketball, boys and girls, football, boys and girls, uh, cricket for boys, volleyball for girls, and swimming, which is a great opportunity for our kids here in Hyderabad. As you know that India is a large country and it's deep-rooted with traditions and customs. And so here at ISH, where we have so many 26 different nationalities at least, we try to bring in the, a taste of the host country culture into their lives. On Republic Day, we do uh, come in our Indian clothes. We talk to them about the importance of the Indian flag. Uh, we incorporate that in their lessons, so students are well aware of why we are celebrating uh, that particular day. We have a really multi-pronged approach to our professional learning here at ISH. So we have weekly um, meetings and workshops on professional learning that are in line with our school goals. Uh, we also send faculty uh, to different locations in India and in Asia for professional learning, and they then come back and share their learning with, with others. We have small classes, and I can think about each student. Um, I actually ha have a chance to care about each and every one of them. As far as a place to work, this is definitely the most comfortable that I've ever experienced. Um, the, the physical environment is uh, very uh, relaxing with a lot of fresh air. And definitely, these are the best co-workers I've had in my 25 years of being employed. Hyderabad is a developing modern city um, and when I first came here I found out it was a lot it was a lot more pleasant than I ever imagined it would be. We have an, a great climate throughout the year so there's a lot of outdoor sports, outdoor activities and yet at the same time there's wonderful restaurants and there's modern cinemas and shopping malls so it really has got everything that you would like like from places like Goa so there's a lot of opportunity for travel both within the historical side of Hyderabad uh, and within India. Brilliant campus, very good staff, uh, excellent leadership team. As my kids would sum it, it's an awesome school. Every student can participate in almost any sport, it's really enjoyable. I wish I was a kid myself and had an opportunity to be in a school like this. I say to the Vipers, 